Hey guys, Liam here. I just want to make a quick video. Um, just I'm just jumping this on my jumping on my computer to do this very amateur, non-professional looking. But I think the content is really what's going to make the most difference here. So I want to read a message that I just got. Hi Liam. I went to the doctor the other day about my tinnitus, and he said not to worry because it has only been one week since I experienced my tinnitus. He didn't recommend me to go and see an audiologist until two months if I keep experiencing my tinnitus. My tea was caused by loud noise, overuse of my headphones. However, my hearing is completely fine when my doctor test my hearing is completely fine when my doctor tested it. May I ask if my tinnitus will go away quickly? And by the way, I did a dry fast yesterday for 20 hours. Thanks. So I'm gonna um, put this out in the documentary that I'm doing at the moment, but um, I was even speaking to somebody on the plane from Chicago to Dallas. I was speaking to this uh, Americans. You sit down on a plane next to an American. They're like, it's like speed dating. It's like you have an obligation to talk to them. They say, yep, so I, I'm Liam. I'm Chris. Like you have to like meet each other. It's like you got set up for a blind date. So I think it's great. It's like the, the best thing I've ever experienced. Um, but what this guy said to me, I told him what I did. I said, I'm here doing a documentary on tinnitus. And he said, oh, wow. He said, he, he has it. Like, who the fuck doesn't have tinnitus these days? It's crazy. But... He, he's in construction. He said that, um, he's like, oh, I thought tinnitus was just because of, you know, you broke your ear, you broke the cell. He had a pretty good handle on it. You broke, you broke the cells in your ears and you can't fix that. And there is truth to this and there's not truth to this. So the whole theory um, that I was told over and over again, because obviously I'm a drummer and that's how I had my tinnitus in the first place. If you're just finding my YouTube channel now, I don't have tinnitus anymore. I can close this window in silence and not hear anything. So I'll open that because it's fucking hot in Dallas. <laughs> well, compared to Chicago. So the idea is, the concept is that you have cochlear hair cells in your ears. True, obviously, no one's disputing that. They're like a little cochlear shell. And um, they're part of the hearing process, a very elaborate process. Um, and you can damage those cells um, if you experience too much, if you're, the noise is too loud, you can hurt your ears. And you can break those cells, true and those cells can't be repaired. True, I'm not saying you can repair cochlear hair cells. Those cells can't be broken, can't be repaired, sorry. They can be broken, not repaired. The theory is that um, all those cells have, they have a different spectrum. So some cells might be responsible for a tone like, Ooh, and some cells may be responsible for a tone like, uh, which is why people get a hearing test and they get different frequencies and they press it. And the idea is that when you lose a certain realm, if you want to call it that, of um, cochlear hair cells, that your brain doesn't like the space, so it fills in the space with um, an apparent noise, a ringing. And so based on that, doctors believe that tinnitus is for life. They believe that we well, can't repair the hair cells and the hair cells cause it so it's for life. But what about this? What about all the people who are experiencing hearing loss? and don't have tinnitus and what about all the people like this gentleman who doesn't have any hearing loss whatsoever or nothing outside of the, the normal range and he has tinnitus and it's from noise trauma so headphones the fact is that there's different forces at play here i'm not talking about god or buddha or gandhi or allah or whatever i'm talking about there's different aspects that for example when you experience mechanical noises such as fridges humming computers whirring um, you get exposed to electromagnetic fields slash frequencies um, you're hurting your DNA, which is very bad. Your organs forget how to heal themselves, which is why you need to eat organs, with ribonucleic acid, um, and your brain included. But the thing is, you check my Instagram, you can see me eating raw brain on my Instagram. It's optional, you can cook it, you can eat it raw. But the thing is, um, where's I going with this? There's different, the cortisol, the cortisol spikes from the noise, um, it's causing you to go into fight or flight mode, which is causing um, your nervous system, which is your brain, which is also responsible for your senses, including hearing, into overdrive, and it can cause um, a frequency. And basically it's a symptom that something is really wrong. Your body has no idea what to do with it. Our body is adjusted to noises like creeks, rivers, birds, animals, people, singing talking but it's not accustomed to instruments drums guitar bass tuba saxophone percussion um uh planes flying overhead right now i'm very close to the airport in dallas um there's things happening with the body and when you get stressed out this whole thing with b vitamins as well but it's very complex but i just want to put that basically just put it out there the answer to this question is very complex but um just know that 
that's I don't believe that theory at all for a second. I don't believe that once you I do believe that you can have I believe that a person can have irreversible hearing damage. Of course, I believe that. I also have seen multiple people, more than multiple people follow my advice and regain some aspect of their hearing. So go figure that. I'm not saying that they're regrowing the hair cells back, but remember the brain is plastic. You can read the book The Brain That Changes Itself. But also um, remember that um, just remember that, that there are people with hearing loss who don't have tinnitus and there are people who um, have hearing loss and sorry there are people without hearing loss with tinnitus and people with hearing loss who don't have tinnitus both now set up both ways sat up late last night <laughs> working <laughs> so um hope that kind of you know interests some of you um and that's really just i don't believe that theory because as far as i'm concerned it's not proven because there's too many variables in it and it's just not I, if it's it's just if it, the theory I have is if I would shrink myself down and walk into your ear and go and cut off a, a, um, some of your cochlear hair cells responsible for a certain frequency, then you should get tinnitus straight away. I don't believe that for a second. I don't believe that would happen. I don't believe it's true. I think that noise can damage your ears, but also there's a lot more going on in your nervous system as well, which is actually responsible for the tinnitus. I don't think the ears are responsible for the tinnitus. I think it's the nervous system. Okay, and I'm seeing that when people start pulling toxins out of their nervous system through their gums, their brain through their gums, and they start fasting, repair the cells, and they start they stop using as much electronics so their DNA can rebuild themselves, and they do a whole bunch of other shit too, whole bunch of other shit which is not going to be covered in this video, but just know that that's my video for today. Cool.